cool. Okay, so I have active, yeah, active nah, lighting or adaptive lighting basically. Oh, I'm gonna go back to dark. Oh, see, see. Okay, let's see what's in the shadow there. So I'm gonna put the bottom down. Oh, okay. Uh, Anyways, the garden is growing. I had just more seeds over there, like where the brown is. Potatoes are growing really well. They're all so nicely rich and green. And uh, so, oh yeah, I found a pepper. <laughs> I buried it right over in the, in the uh, no, no, I lied. It's right over here. Over by where the chrysanthemum or whatever the whatever plant that was, whatever flower, flower it was. But anyways, I buried the uh, yellow pepper in there. So I'll be watering it daily. I found a bus tub at the little swimming pool happening for the magpies. And they're loving it. I didn't make the time to get the uh, to get a, a shot of the magpies enjoying themselves, but I will eventually. They're, they're really starting to get used to me. Build that trust and don't, 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 don't use, misuse his, their trust. They really do love you. you know? They want to be friends, just like anybody else. And my kitty wants to talk to me too, my little queen. Yeah, see, yeah. Oh, it's almost on cue. It's like, yeah, she knows she's being recorded now. Right, babe? Yeah. Oh, I love her. She's absolute the angel. Absolute angel. She's so beautiful. In character and person, see? <laughs> she, she understands that thing. She says, thank you. Uh -oh. But it's more like, I know. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. Let's see if that becomes, uh, if that's a strawberry. And I got the same deal over there. So it's the same plant. Uh, leave it growing and see what happens. Parsley's coming out really nice. Beautifully green. And I have to watch out for the grasses. Cause, well, it's more like the weeds. But they, you really do notice how much nutrients are being pulled away when there's uh, a weed in there growing among the, the parsley. It's amazing. It almost like it's almost like it saps away all the nutrients in that area. It's just as soon as you take that weed out of there, it's just like it starts to grow back. It's, it's just like wow, real results. Uh, and I, I'm only going to call it a weed because uh, well, it was uh, debilitating the parsley from uh, you know sprouting. As a matter of fact, there's a, a leaf that's growing right there. Well, I will consider that a leaf amongst that, amongst that. So. But other than that, I don't mind it growing anywhere else. So. And I gotta look that up, the name up for that. This hasn't sprouted yet, but I'm keep pouring, keep drenching it, especially with that new nozzle. Works really, really well. But yeah, it's coming out really nice and beautiful. A lot better. Eventually, I'll, I'll have this in, inside a greenhouse. And of course, I'll have to have, I, it'll be easy enough to get inside for anybody that has to. But yeah, I'm going to have it enclosed as much as possible. A nice feeding area for the birdie as well, for the birds all throughout winter. And maybe even make a hotel for the magpies here. <laughs> and knowing me, I if I have the uh, if I have the means and the money, yeah, 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 yeah get it done immediately. <laughs> like if I had the money, every 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 con every uh, every unit here will have solar panels immediately. I will not fucking hesitate. 
plus the batteries and everything. Well, one step at a time, one foot in front of the other. Oh yeah, it's the lilac. And it's sprouting flowers like never before. They really needed water and nutrients to bloom. That's all it was. Don't mind it growing because it's just a flowering tree, but it does have useful materials, as in straight branches that you could, you know, cut and make a little, you know, little cage over here so you can have a compost area. So that's pretty much what I'll do as soon as it uh, grows, grows some more or thicker branches. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Chatter, chitter, chatter. I'm just trying to find out where the chitter chatter is coming from. It's a heavy duty conversation. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're in the trees, but it's in the neighbors. I'm not going to really invade on that privacy. <laughs> I put out some more peanuts so they could get uh -huh, some extra treats today. Change the water six minutes in. Not seven minutes. Ah, oh, there we go. Hi, guys. See? These guys. These guys keep me company. I give them water. Yeah, yeah. Almost made this. This I I can never get this close to them. <laughs> and they just treat. They just gave me a treat now. That's amazing. I love them. I will not disrespect them. They, they, yeah. They had the mentality of a seven-year-old child. Don't misbehave with them. Don't mistreat them. They are wonderful, wonderful people. Believe it or not, they are little minds. They are alive, and they could gang up on you, make your life miserable, but that's not why I feed them. I just feed them because I like them. <laughs> They're adorable. And, well, they keep everything in check. The thing about, uh, there's, as this is a hypothesis, okay? It, it, the thing about, uh, there's people talking about building an immune system and, uh, you know, about, uh, well, yeah, immune system, building your immune system is like uh, how you build yourself, uh, how you build your uh, poison tolerance, right? Minute quantities of poison uh, that do not kill you, but, you know, your body reacts to, you know, like antivirus, like uh, broken down uh, virus pro uh, pro uh, you know, proteins, for example. Hey, but the thing is, when you're outside in nature, you're gaining minute quantities through everything, even as a child, right? Everything. That's the difference. The difference is you get a variety of uh, plants uh, and uh, species, fauna, interacting, you know, and you get a variety of poisons introduced. So that's how you build up an, an, an immune system. But this is a hypothesis on my end, right? So no matter how many birds you have, there's always different types of birds, different types of uh, bacterial viruses. Like, right, do you have the chicken flu or something right now? Well, do you not have a large quantities of chickens that basically is a petri dish for that very same virus that will mutate and mutate and mutate, you know, in a lot. So is it any wonder that you get these super bugs? This is a hypothesis on the end again. So this is tied into building up your immune system. You're talking about being, <laughs> we are indestructible? No, no. 
us from 90s, 80s? No, we're not. We're blood and bones and organs just like everybody else. And we have a brain. Yeah, but everybody has a brain, <laughs> supposedly. And the thing is, even with crops, what are you going to do? One type of crop. What do you, what's, isn't that a petri dish? Breeding ground for uh, a particular virus or a particular strain of fungus to, that will take over? As opposed to have a huge, as opposed to having a huge variety of crops where everything interacts, where all the poisons interact and everything's kept in equilibrium because of the entire, you know, because of the variety in nature, not the concentration of the poison, you know, it's the concentration of the poisons, it's the concentrations of the bugs, it's the concentrations of hmm, chemicals. Hmm, just food for thought. <laughs> This is not environmental. This is just something that hmm, you get input, 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 and this is hmm, maybe it works like this. Just think about it. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm not, <laughs> anyways, springtime. Ah, Edmonton, Alberta. And my beautiful little queen, she's looking up uh, the newspaper. She's basically this backyard is her newspaper. She communicates that way. She gets a little smile. Yeah, <laughs> we're not indestructible. Hey, thank you. Hello. Blue Jay. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's a nice finish. 12 minutes with my little queen, lucky little lucky. And, and, yeah, and this was named after my mom, Nancy. Uh, I, uh, uh, <laughs> see, take care of her. She grows and blooms, and she grows strong. Twelve minutes forty-seven. <laughs> there we go. I'll upload this video to Twitter, and then I'm going to be uploading this video to uh, da -da 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 YouTube and under under my uh, Black uh, Black View uh, something products or Black View products. Or That's a nice tree. It's got two, <laughs> well, with two mockingbirds. There are, uh, yeah, they're on, they're a pair. And they're a couple, and a blue jay there. Got a uh, regular one over here. This one with uh, some vivid, uh, vivid blue uh, uh, wing tips. They're amazing to look. And I got a new camera, so I'm going to be uh, putting that, uh, setting up that camera soon. And it's going to be better than the a Logitech uh, camera that I had before. That was streaming the backyard, uh, uh, backyard wildlife. So with the new camera, you're going to have a, a night view as well. Plus a better, clearer, because... Uh, Sure. Hopefully, we'll see. Let's, uh, my wife is going to come. I'll be coming pretty soon, so she's going to be helping me set this up. Ah, thank you, thank you. Oh, 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 I see you. No, uh, oh, no, no. That was just a. Oh. No, I didn't. Oh, that was looking at something else. I imagined it. I was, I was looking at the gap in the trees. What the gap? And I was like, I was confusing it for a chickadee. I'm like, oh, no, what the heck? It's not moving. And I'm like looking over. Oh, 1415. Done.